Oh, YouTube, Dan O'Hare, just going through some pictures that I found from back in the day when I was working doing body work. And of course, the pictures got a little fucked up, got a little wet. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. That's the 65 Cornet I've been mentioning to you guys that we did. I wish I had more pictures of it. I should, but those are the only ones I can find right now. I got a few other pictures of it standing up on edge. There's me back in the day. Farting around. And, uh, that was another 65. And I was going to do that project for the boss. His name was Dave McLean. And, uh, there I am. Pulling the back half of it out. Those are the uh, 65 Cornet fenders I made for it that are the uh, altered wheelbase. The uh, front wheel opening has moved seven, seven inches forward. That was kind of cut off. There's the back section out of it. There's a picture of the fenders I made. It took about two weeks. They're done up nice though. Didn't really get too far into the project and the guy passed away. This is his shop. Pretty cool shop. He does some nice cars there. The one on this side, 71 Cuda convertible. That's a 68 Super B. That's the shop that blew rush out of the shop. I did the uh, lowers on this one. It's a 68 Dodge Dart. This guy here, I used to work with. This guy was fucking an awesome dude. This guy fucking knew his shit and knew how to fucking achieve what he wanted to achieve. That whole fucking quarter on that car was just munched. He got hit from behind, and it was kale. Put a new lower quarter on it. It was all rusty and everything else. There's a little bit of the 65 there. But yeah, what a fucking awesome dude. This guy showed me a lot over the years. I already knew a fair bit. I think I have taught him a trick or two. But I tell you, what an excellent dude. That guy knew his shit. He fucking did teach me a lot. Alright, I'm just going to pause this video for a second and lay out some more pictures. One and up. Alright, I'm back. Here's a few more pictures. That was a 68 uh, Roadrunner. The front grill, or the front rad support was full of uh, one and an eighth holes. And someone cutting in it to lighten it up. That's a uh, Belvis. That's a uh, 62 or 63 Belvedere Roadrunner. That was just something he bought and flipped. This is a Cherokee that I did for myself. It was an 88. Had this thing for about 10 years. Put new rockers on it. Filled a whole bunch of rust holes and everything else. Replaced the fender hood and a few other things for the front rat support. Placed all the metal in between the wheel well and the door opening. Did a whole bunch of floor work in it. That thing lasts me about 10 years. There's another one of the cars we did in the shop there. Camaro. Convertible. There's a shot of the uh, Cornette up on its side. That was before paint. This is a car I did myself years before this. I fixed all around the cowl section. It was all rotted out. Here's a car I did for a buddy of mine. It was kind of a beige color. Started out with, cleaned up a lot of the rust and that. And did it in this nice uh, metallic brown. Here's a better picture of that Cuda that he had. Uh, another set of cornet fenders for the uh, 
the lightweight, those were the aluminum ones. General shop picture. And that's a picture of a buddy of mine's car. I didn't do any work on that one. But I tell you, that's a sweet ride. Heartbreaker. Yeah, the pictures are all fucked up here. A bunch of the pictures got wet. And uh, this one here, I, I painted for him too. I think we did that in white. I forget now. I'm surprised I don't have a picture of it done. And that's a, another car of his. That was his wife's car. Pretty cool cars. All right, in any case, uh, that's all the pictures I can find right now. I just thought I'd uh, give you an idea of some of the work I used to do. I uh, used to take these rusty pieces of shit and uh, fix them into something that uh, people would be happy with. I did a pretty good job on my Cherokee, though. I, I must say, I didn't really spend a lot of time on it. I think it was like two weeks, three weeks after hours, and it was slow. And uh, fixed her up nice. I even cheated a little bit on the floor. I used the galvanize. I just screwed it in. But that sealant, fuck man, that sealant was good shit. Cancer causing, but <laughs> good shit. <laughs> Alright, in any case, like, comment, subscribe, share. Hey, just stop by and say hello. And if you want to get a better look at the pictures, I also maybe suggest you pause it at times and you can get a better look. All right, let me know what you think. All right, gentlemen, have a great evening. Talk to you later.